I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I present you the next casino tech on my channel and it is called Spindelite. And Spindelite, as you can see in the background, is just a horizontal bar from left to right. It spins and as soon as it stops, if there is like this kind of gold netherite or another gold bar where the light is located, you will win and you will win big. In this case, it's a netherite ingot, but of course that's completely customizable as always. And for this episode, we will thank Haruki Kun. And he said, just a small suggestion. Can you make spin the light casino game? If the light hits the center, you will get a reward. And I made it a little bit different as you see here in the background. I made it so that the center wins you something, but also left and right from the center, you can get rewards. And of course, it is completely up to you as a casino designer, how to set this machine up and how to select which of those lamps will win you whatever. So of course you could uh, select a currency, in my case it's diamond. If I play this machine, the, the slot will close and this time I won absolutely nothing because yeah, <laughs> we did not hit any of the winning redstone lamps, which is lamp two, uh, f two, four and six. Yeah, this time again an red ingot, great. Great luck there. Let's see if we can get a gold ingot as well. Nope, that was not a gold ingot. Come on, let's open it up. Let's see. Okay, yeah, close enough. <laughs> I will play it one more time just for demonstration purposes. Yes, gold ingot, nice. <laughs> That's how you win this machine or how you win this game. And yeah, this time I selected a version or a machine that is like my quick take videos, very, very fast to build. So it's super, yeah, super compact, super easy, but what it can do is very, very powerful. And I will show it to you in two parts. In the first part, we will build it together. No, <laughs> just kidding. In the first part, of course, we will look at all the circuits behind the machine and I will explain each of those circuits to you and what it will do in the machine. In the second part of this video, I will show it to you block by block how it works, how to build it, so you can build it in your single player or multiplayer Minecraft world. And what I also wanted to say is I of course included a material list, start of the block by block tutorial, there will be a material list for you. So you can also gather all the materials in survival Minecraft if you want to, play, to build this machine. But let's go into the explanatory part. First of all, we have here in green, our heart piece, which is combining the orange circuitry a little bit with the red one. So basically we have here these bedrock locked repeaters and some of you will remember them from my um, spin the wheel, wheel of fortune machines and casinos. So those are bedrock locked and we have here a pulse trap. As you can see, a one tick pulse is trapped exactly here. And if I for yeah, some reason depower this redstone signal, we can see this one tick pulse travel through and as soon as I power those repeaters again and therefore bedrock locking them here, we trap the pulse again. So that's why I call this a pulse trap. And this pulse trap is very crucial to the functionality of this machine. So we have here, of course, the transfer of the signal to the green circuit. And as we can see here, this is resembles this slot here and this slot is nothing. So you cannot win if this slot is activated. So let's deactivate the pulse trap a little bit more. Yeah, I think, yeah. Now we trap the pulse right here. So if we follow this green line, of course it's behind, uh, beneath there. And now, as you can see here, we depower this torch. Those two are still on. And this torch, the depowered one powers that one and we will get some gold. That's why there's a gold ingot and the lamp is on. So very, very simple concept. I can, I think every one of you should grasp that. And yeah, here in the filter item system, we have basically 18 secretly named items, three of those more, and one currency item, which is diamonds in my case. And the diamonds will get transferred into this profit chest. We will power this uh, pulse extender, power the piston, so we cannot insert any more currency and have to wait until the machine is done. Then we will send a two tick pulse. Uh, sorry, that's a one tick pulse. I don't know why I send a one tick pulse there, but it should be a two tick pulse. And here, Let's quickly do that. Here we have a 50% dropper hopper randomizer. Whereas 
this one is a stack non-stackable item and this one is a stackable one so different power outputs here one and two respectively so if the light wool block gets moved into the hopper very shortly we will get one signal strength therefore powering this pathway with another 50% dropper I forgot to label them very sorry for that and <clears throat> here we have either four ticks or a total of seven ticks uh, that's dependent on the, on which item gets moved into the hopper so we have here already two outcomes on how long to depower this torch that's very important to remember two outcomes to depower this torch but if the wooden X gets transferred we will have here this OR gate, we will only power this circuit here, which is another pulse extender, and we will depower the torch very long. And what it does is, what I did in uh, beforehand, just by hand, it just depowers this line, and the uh, spin the light machine starts, and as soon as the lamp is on again, we can get a result. And now I will just, um, yeah, trick it, or basically set it to be 100% X, so we see what the X does. So the X will, oh no, that was very bad. So the X will power this pulse extender, depower this torch for a certain amount of time and power it on again. And that's when we win in this case and i it. And as we can see, that's the longest pulse this machine has. So that's one of three options and it will occur to with a um, probability of 50%. So next up, I will just exchange those two items uh, for each other. So now we only get the right way here so only this chopper here let's quickly show it to you we'll only get this one here and now we got signal strength 2 so that's why we move a little bit further oh again a netherite ingot great <laughs> i will not i would not be the casino owner in this case <coughs> yeah as we can see that was just a couple of lamps let's see where this one here so it is just one to the left so basically six lamps further that's the one option and the next one is let's see what that is that was again six lamps let's see if we can get get the short version yeah the short version is just one two three four five six oh no that was again six come on rt you can count Yeah, now we had the short version, which is just one, two, three. So we have either three or six uh, lamps progress with the wool block in here, or a certain amount, like it spins a, l a lot of times through if we get the pulse extenders of very long pulse, uh, that's the third option. So we have three options, how much this light um, will progress further or spins further, and that's how you get the randomization into this machine. So nobody can predict which outcome the casino will basically select. So it's completely foolproof. It's completely safe for you as a casino owner. Maybe you have to adjust the length of this bar. So if you, for example, want to add here some more lights, you could, of course, do that. There's basically no limit. Yeah, you can, of course, play around with the length of this bar. I just selected seven, so it's a little bit nicer and you can design it very optically appealing so and yeah with that explained i think yeah i think that's completely done and with all the circuits explained thanks again once more to haruki kun for suggesting this video idea here and if you out there want to suggest also a video that i can build here on rt's world channel make sure to write a comment or to become a patreon member and write me there a message it will be built if it's a cool idea, if it's a nice idea, it can also be crazy, can also be funny. It doesn't matter, just casino gambling type of stuff, you know <laughs> what my content basically resembles. It, it has to fit the content, but you can suggest anything. I will build it, I will try to build it if it's fun and if it gets selected, you can see your creation come to life here in one of my videos. And with that said, I will now go to the block reward tutorial and yeah, I will see you in a second. So, and welcome to the block by block tutorial. You already saw the material list, so you should be able to build this now in survival Minecraft as well. And we will start with a 13 by 7 platform, 7 this direction, 13 that direction. And then you can also, of course, have the 8th block this wall. 
on the seventh block there will still be this frame and yeah you can just pause the video at any point to build this front wall at first of course you can select the gold the netherite and the other gold slot completely individually don't w don't bother like with my exact prices you can still exchange them for other items so then we will place two hoppers facing to the right one hopper facing to the front with the chest in front of it then we will start with the item insert system so it is just redstone torch comparator a little bit fretstone and 18 3 1 2 3 the third one should already be in the chest a piston block of diamond so next up we are gonna build here f uh, four tick repeater then oh no that's wrong then we're gonna build two comparators facing in that direction two in the other one redstone torch block torch block blocks and another redstone piece so next up we're gonna place here repeater set to two ticks piston repeater set to two ticks and then we're gonna place here a dropper and in this dropper hopper combination we're gonna place a non-stackable item and a stackable one and from here on we're just gonna place in a comparator two pieces of redstone dust repeater set to one tick uh, two ticks repeater set to one tick redstone dust where are my sticky pistons sticky piston two pieces and from here on we just have two outputs the first one is here two tick the second one is here two tick next we're gonna build here a yellow circuit that looks like this so we have two two redstone dust then two comparators facing into different directions and here another repeater like so and here we're gonna place a redstone torch and then we are going to place here another redstone um, randomization system so another non-stackable and a stackable item um, comparator two pieces of redstone dust and then we just have here one two three one two three four one two three four and we just wire everything up like this good with all the randomization systems done next we're gonna start with some of those uh, iron blocks and we're gonna start by just placing them against those lamps then we go one block across and down and place here some repeaters we're gonna go one block up place a row of blocks another block down a row of blocks here we're gonna place another row of repeaters and then we're gonna place wherever a slot is a redstone torch green wool another redstone torch and a few more redstone dust like this now we can also add in some of the node blocks so make sure to build them on iron and the remaining node block so it's zero one two three four five and six so that's the node blocks and next up we're gonna have here a repeater block another repeater that's our first input the second one is here third fourth fifth six and seventh so that's our inputs so now we have to connect them so it's a lot of building now that's wrong so that's right good so that's that's it that should be it and now we can place in a repeat uh, block basically every second output so that's the first one uh, that's the f yeah the first one the second one then the third one then this one here and the last one right here so we will place in repeaters at this points 
And now we have to block them, of course, otherwise they would power or cross power. And it's not desired. So we can also place a repeater here at the start of each of those circuits. And just make sure to wire them up like this. So now we can hide all those uh, redstone tracks so they don't connect to the other ones. And now we're just gonna place the elevated ones. And each of those circuits should now have three repeaters. So one, two, three, okay, one, two, three, okay, one, two, three, and so on. So each of those circuits now has three repeaters in total, and that's how to do it. So next up, we're gonna place in the orange circuit, and for that, we just elevate the row of blocks like this. And from here, we're just gonna place a redstone dust wherever a repeater is located, and a repeater wherever an air gap remains. So then we're just gonna continue to block down like this and then yeah we can already replace that one here so we're just gonna go like that and here on the last bit we just continue one more block outwards then one block down another block down another block down and then we can connect it so it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven repeater one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so and what we can do next is now each of those path straps has a repeater assigned to it and we now want to set in the other repeaters that bedrock lock those so just place in here a lot of them here the last one and then we should be able to connect them just very conveniently up with some redstone dust and next up we're just gonna connect it here via this torch so that's one two three and from here on we just continue to go up like this and we also connect it down to this repeater here. Perfect, now all of those repeaters are bedrock locked and for the next part we're just gonna replace those redstone dusts here and we'd very shortly just make here a temporary circuit with repeaters set to one tick, very important that is there's one tick, another repeater and just a redstone torch. And now you can remove it very carefully and now we can see that the pulse is traveling through. Those um, torches are all on, but as soon as we stop it by just powering this redstone here, we should lock in one of those lamps and it's already this one here. So next up I will show you how it is played. So just make sure to place in a diamond. Oh, that's nice, but we want nothing. Good for the casino owner. Let's check it out. Yeah, we won gold, perfect. And yeah, that's how it works. Of course, you can now increase the length of the bar. You can also like exchange the prices or also the currency, which is diamonds in my case. You're completely free to design it, to customize it, but that's how it works, that's how it's built. And with that said, I'm really, really thankful for all the comments, all the suggestions and all my Patreon supporters, really, really thankful for that. I hope you enjoy my videos. I know it's not that much videos it's only one every two weeks but yeah it's work life youtube balance you know the thing you know the stuff and I d i'm doing my best i'm trying to keep up good quality content good quality casinos and i really try to build them as nicely and as easy for you as possible and with that said thanks for watching again and i will see you in the next video bye bye